One of the most annoying things about modern Galaxy devices like my S23 Ultra is their insistence upon having Smart View instead of Chromecast support to just mirror your screen to a Chromecast connected or Chromecast enabled device. On a normal Android device, you can swipe down from your notification shade and there's probably a little quick settings button there that will let you fire up Chromecast and cast your screen. On this device, it is Smart View, and Smart View is great, and it works with a lot of things, but it doesn't work with all Chromecast devices. It doesn't work with any Chromecast devices. Now, strangely enough, in the beta for One UI 6, you could actually go into the Labs section and enable Chromecast support. But with the official release, they took that out for some reason. However, apparently, there is a workaround for that, and in this video, that is exactly what I'm gonna be showing you. Now, before we go any further, I wanna warn you, if you don't know about using ADB, I'm gonna explain as much of this stuff as I can, but if like you're not like super comfortable with like tinkering with stuff, you're probably not gonna do this. It's not that bad though, but you are gonna to have to download a couple of things and plug your phone into your computer. And so uh, you're warned. I will be putting links to everything you need in the description down below though. So like I said, it's not that bad if you can follow these simple instructions and copy and paste some commands from the description into the command prompt. This is something that you should be able to handle without too much issue. We're not like hacking the device or rooting to anything too crazy like that. So let's get started. So we have my S23 Ultra right here. And if you pull down the notification shade, you can pull it down again and you should see Smart View. Now, like I said, in the beta, you could select Smart View and of course, it doesn't want to show this on the capture because why would it ever make this easy? You could tap on the three dots up there in the top. You could select settings and then you could go into labs and there would be an option there to enable Chromecast support. So like I said, there is a workaround. So on your phone, first what we're going to do is go into the Play Store and we're going to download System UI Tuner. This is the one here. Once that is installed, we're going to need to make sure you have ADB installed and set up on your computer. Not really installed, just downloaded. So we're gonna click on the link in the description. You're gonna scroll down and you're gonna download if you're Windows, Mac, Linux, whatever, click on one of them that makes sense for you. Scroll down, tick the box and download the platform tools. You can save it to your downloads folder. At that point, you're gonna right click on it. You're going to probably have an option that says extract all and that is fine. This thing popped up, we're gonna let that do its thing. Inside this is a folder called platform tools. Now this is an extra step. This is just something that I do that makes things easier. We're gonna click once more and we're gonna name that folder ADB. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the root of our C drive. That's our primary drive. And we're gonna just drop that folder in this root. You can see where mine is right there. That's just gonna make your life a lot easier. Go into that folder, click up here in your little address bar and do control C to copy that. Click on your start button, type in CMD. And now what we're gonna do is a CD, a change of directory. So CD and then paste in that directory we just now copied. So now we are in this folder. And at this point, we are free to run the commands that we are going to have to run here in just a little bit. On your Galaxy device, jump into settings, scroll all the way down to about phone, Click on software information, look for build number, tap that a bunch of times until a thing pops up, you punch in your pin, and now you have access to developer mode. Let's back out, back out again. This time, at the very bottom, you will see developer options. Let's scroll down and let's turn on developer options. At this point, plug your phone into your computer. A thing's gonna pop up and it's gonna say, allow access from your computer, something like that. Tick the box, hit yes and we're able to move on. So let's open up this application and it's gonna take you through a setup process. Scroll all the way down through this terms of service, click the next arrow. System UI Tuner can change hidden settings. Unfortunately, since they're hidden, there's a chance your device won't respond to certain changes. Great, skip to the next one. If your device is rooted, you can just grant. If it's not rooted, you're gonna have to use this ADB thing. Well, you have to use it anyways, but you have to use it in just a second. If you click on help, unfortunately, it's gonna try to explain this to you, but I can't read any of that. It's just, it's awful. So if we skip ahead 
Let's click on Windows because that's what we're using. This is the command that you're going to be using. Now, because I'm such a nice guy, I'm going to paste that command in the description. So you can just copy it and then right click in this window to paste it, hit enter. It'll look like nothing at all has happened, but in fact, it has happened because you can now go back to the screen, hit the arrow, and instead of grant, you can just skip right on past it and you should be totally fine. From here, there's several more things we need to grant, but these things will happen on your phone themselves. So you have to grant it the ability to appear on top, which is done now. So let's go back, allow notifications, allow, enable crash reports. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm not gonna follow you on Twitter or Mastodon, sorry. All right, we are at our next screen. Most of the hard work is done. Let's tap on the system tab, which should open up a couple of things. Now we're gonna go into lock screen and then lock screen shortcuts. We're just gonna go with the left shortcut and let's just search for smart view and select that. And then we're gonna click up here again and search for developer option activity. And I think that's the one that we need there. And let's go ahead and hit okay. This is strange, but trust me, it's gonna work. Back to this old ADB window, we're gonna paste in the second command and hit enter. It will appear as though nothing has happened, but once again, something has indeed happened. And what's supposed to happen here is when you unlock, you're supposed to have this little smart view icon down there. Now mine kind of glitched out and didn't work. Let me really quickly just show you what I did. So back in this uh, application under lock screen and lock screen shortcuts, what I did is I clicked a little back arrow on both and that restored it to camera and then phone. I had just disabled both of those. I then went back in and repeated that process of setting this one to be down there and then it works. So we're gonna lock it and then we're gonna open this up. And what should happen here is it should take us into the developer options for Smart View. And as you can see there, Google Cast is now an option that you can turn on. If you wanna go back and remove that little uh, shortcut, you can absolutely do that. But now what we're gonna do is let's click on that and look at that, Google Cast, Google Cast. And we're gonna go ahead and select one and I'll show you. All right, so here we are. We're gonna select that box there. We're gonna hit start now. And then if we come up here, there we go. Swipe around and we're fully functional. Interestingly enough, mine was still turned on from when I did this way back in the beta version. So I didn't actually have to toggle that box. So this, I hope, bodes well for the idea that this is something you're only going to have to do once and it should be set like that for a while unless they kind of close this loophole. Hopefully that's not the case and this is sort of like a, a quick semi-permanent fix. So there you go guys. Maybe not as easy as it once was but it is still absolutely doable. Now I do want to give credit where credit is due. Michelle Rahman did this post on Twitter where they kind of walked through the last bit of these instructions that is where that command and this idea came from so i will put a link to their tweet in the description down below so you can go follow them the shawl is awesome they are constantly posting amazing stuff like this so you owe it to yourself to go give them a follow even if uh, twitter is not your bag which i totally understand maybe what i'll do instead is i'll also put a link to their link tree because they have a patreon maybe that's a better way to go at any rate Thanks for watching. Hopefully that is helpful and useful to some of you. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.